Are you confused by the sheer variety of additives on the market? If so, then follow along as we go through products we use regularly, along with what we see as your must-haves to create a healthy and happy environment for your shrimp. Most additives fall into one of four categories, although there are crossovers with certain additives. The categories are bacters, including multi-powders, minerals slash trace elements, environmental, i.e. tank health improvements, and finally, shrimp health. In the first set, bacters, there's a wide variety of different bacters that more or less do the same thing with some slight variances. Products like Bio Nitro, Bio Bacta, Milli One, PS Bacta and Shrimp Bacta. I use all of these, not just for starting a tank, but for adding a pinch after every water change to each tank. I use them all in rotation, not all at the same time, basically just whatever I can grab at that point in time. I do have a favourite and I do have one and I have reasons for why I have that one and we'll talk about that later. Within this category I'd also add multi-powders because multi-powders also have bacters. Next up we have the mineral section. Within this section we have Miranacutan, Mammarinolite and Humic Fulvic Acids. Mammarinolite is a type of powdered clay also available in rock form. When used in tanks, it has a positive effect on health and development of all living organisms and plants. It releases many micronutrients that activate enzymes, hormones and vitamins, and it stimulates the growth of beneficial bacteria. Next, we'll talk about Miranacutan, again in powder or rock form. Miranacutan contains natural minerals and trace elements. It effectively contributes to the development of the microbiology in aquariums, that is, the beneficial bacteria and accompanying flora. It is especially recommended when installing new aquariums, but in mature aquariums, mature aquariums, it absorbs pollution, which improves clarity and water quality. We carry a couple of different brands of both Miranacutan and Montmarinolite, both in powder and rock form. Lastly, in this section, we have the black water type components, Quadrot Wit Rich One and SL Aqua Black Water Extract. Both of these products contain elements that are found in Caridina habitats, mainly humic and or fulvic acid and other minerals. I also use these in my mixed water change every time I water change my Caridina. So these get mixed up. I only use one at a time, either SL Aqua or Cold drop rich one. In our third of the four section, we have tank health. So, the, most of the products in tank health also cross over with shrimp health. So, we'll look at probiotics. Personally, I use cold drop probiotic. Cold drop probiotic is a product that contains probiotic microorganisms who have a beneficial effect on the shrimp growth and improves the shrimp's ecosystem. In addition to microorganisms, probiotic helps maintain the correct balance of intestinal flora to stop the growth of harmful bacteria, increases the resistance to disease and stimulates digestion and absorption of food. Next we'll introduce enzymes. I personally use Quadrop Bioenzyme. So Bioenzyme is a, speci a special composition of enzymes that facilitate food absorption and increase the survival of newborn shrimp. Bioenzyme help break down the food waste. It also significantly improves the quality of the water by reducing the level of ammonia, nitrite and hydrogen sulfide, thus improving the overall water quality. Finally, for the last part, so let's talk about shrimp health. So obviously there are various crossovers within all of these components that we've discussed, but one specifically is called bioimmuno. So bioimmuno helps to increase the immunity of all aquatic animals such as shrimps, fish, crabs and greyfish. It helps to prevent and reduce the occurrence of diseases and improves the metabolism and increases the growth rate of the shrimp. Using bioimmuno, bioimmuno helps to improve juvenile survival rates. Let's finish with what I see then as the must-haves. So this is a personal preference and obviously you're going to have your own. So PS Bacta is the bacteria of choice that I use for my water changes just simply because it helps promote algae growth. So not only does it add bacteria to the tank, it also promotes algae growth. 
Mirana Kutan um, for the well-being of the tank in general, and I use that sort of regularly once every couple of weeks. Then for other things that I prefer to use, I like probiotic. I think it gives the tank a boost and bioimmuno, but I use these in rotation. I don't use those at the same time. So probably once a week, you know, at different days, I'll use one and then the other. And then finally, a black water extract of some description. So I've been using Rich One forever, just simply because I bought a 30 gram pot and it's lasted me just ages. Uh, but I have used the SL black water as well to the same sort of effect. And you know, both of those replicate water conditions that the Caradina are used to when you're changing their water, hence why I use those. By incorporating these additives into your shrimp tank maintenance routine, you can create a thriving ecosystem where your shrimp can flourish. Remember to follow the dose instructions carefully and monitor water parameters regularly for best results. Happy shrimp keeping. As with all our videos, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave us a comment and I'll speak to you on the next one.